welcome back to a new episode of the True Crime Chica. Today we're going to talk about a case that is very, very personal to me. Not because I have any personal relations to this person, but as you guys know, I am born in Puerto Rico. I'm Puerto Rican. And this person, well, this child, this case happened in 1999. This was a little bit before I was born, but it was very sensationalized when it happened. And to this day, it is one of the many cases in Puerto Rico that remains unsolved, not only because they have failed to find a suspect for this case, but also because of the rampant corruption in the government and regarding law enforcement agencies such as the Department of Puerto Rico Police. Yes, I'm talking to y'all, y'all suck. Anyways, this case is pertaining to a child at the time called Rolando Salas Husino, or as called to by his parents, Rolandito, as a term of affection. Um, Rolandito has been missing since July 7th, 1999. He was originally from Toalta, Puerto Rico. And as of right now, his classification for this case is still endangered missing. He is male and also of black and Hispanic race. His date of birth was October 12, 1994. So as of today, he should be about 27 years old. There are age progression pictures as the time went by from the time that he disappeared to several years later. And today they still have an age progress picture of him to what he would look like as of this moment at the age of 27. He was four years old at his age of disappearance and at the disappearance as well, his height and weight was about three feet, 10 inches, four feet, three inches. He was about 50 pounds and the clothes that he was wearing when he disappeared was a green t-shirt, dark green shorts, and a black and white sneakers. According to the case details, Rolandito was last seen playing unsupervised in a park located at Urbanización Colinas de Plata in Toalta around 4 and 7 p.m. in Toalta, Puerto Rico. After that, he was never seen again. One of the prime suspects in his case was Rolando's stepfather and at some point even his mother. Um, Roberto Gotay Valcarcel, his stepfather, was a prime suspect in this case and for a time that he was in prison, it is said, it is rumored that other prison inmates that were also around him had overheard that he confessed to killing the child and leaving him buried under a farm. However, this particular rumor was never verified by law enforcement and it was never pursued by law enforcement. Once they heard that, I would assume that the first thing that you do is probably try to talk to the person again, maybe try to get some information out of him or maybe retrace your steps, try to find the farm that he was talking about. But that's what we get with the Department of Police in Puerto Rico. I mean, that's what you get. You really don't get any more than that, especially when you're a black and brown child that's missing. His disappearance was actually very sensationalized in the time that it happened. It was very widely covered in the United States and Latin America and also the Caribbean itself. Um, there was a theory that his disappearance was drug related, but however, that theory was quickly dismissed because none of his family members were known to have been involved in drugs. There have also been many alleged sightings of him in the Dominican Republic in Spain and mainland United States. However, none of these reports have been confirmed or denied. In recent updates in 2014, the Interpol received tips surrounding the possible reason for his disappearance. However, these tips did not lead law enforcement anywhere. And to this day, his case unfortunately remains unsolved. I personally believe that these sensitive cases when they are involved uh, with children when they are unsolved i like to approach them with humanity because at the end of the day these were children and these were people individuals that to this day they are missed very dearly by their family 
um, his parents are still looking for them. And if you know anyone with any information that may be valuable to this case, do not hesitate to contact the Federal Bureau of Investigation Division in Puerto Rico. Their number is 787-754-6000. Or the Puerto Rico Police Department at 787-269-2424. All right, this has been an episode of the True Crime Chica talking about the Rolandito Salas Husino case. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I try to approach it with as much respect as possible because at the end of the day, they are human and I do not like on banking on people's pain. This case is still unsolved and I hope that maybe my efforts or maybe other people's efforts, other true crime junkies out there, they know about that web crime sleuths, they know about it. Maybe just know that little piece of information that may lead to the solving of this case and finally know where is he and maybe give their family the closure that they need. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. If you really, really liked it, comment and share it with your friends. See you next time. Bye.